The one-China policy has served as the cornerstone of U.S.-China relations for decades. It effectively requires nations to pick a side, recognize Beijing or recognize Taipei, but not both. Its introduction in the late 1970s saw Washington sever diplomatic relations with the latter in exchange for ties with the People's Republic of China. Speaking to the Wall Street Journal on Friday, Trump said he would not commit to any existing agreement until he saw, quote, progress from China on issues such as trade and currency valuation. Everything is under negotiation, including one China, Trump said. But the incoming U.S. president stopped short of confirming language he used during his campaign when he said he would label China a currency manipulator once taking office. I would talk to them first, Trump said. Certainly they are manipulators, but I'm not looking to do that. Chinese officials have indicated such tough talk could lead to a trade war between the world's two biggest economies. While noting it would work with any U.S. administration, Beijing has urged Trump against taking any bold steps to change the status quo. Trump had already hinted last month that he would be questioning Washington's long-established positions on China when he spoke by phone with the Taiwanese leader. The move quickly drew rebuke from Beijing. I want to stress that the Taiwan issue involves China's sovereignty and territorial integrity and China's core interests. Adhering to the One China principle is the political foundation for the development of China-U.S. relations. If such a foundation is disrupted and undermined, the sound and steady growth of those relations and bilateral cooperation in major fields would be impossible. But Trump defended the call. We sold them $2 billion of military equipment last year, he said. We can sell them $2 billion of the latest and greatest military equipment, but we're not allowed to accept a phone call. Now, during the campaign, Trump frequently attacked China. In fact, one Internet video that went viral had him saying nothing but China for three minutes straight. But Chinese officials may be less than entertained by Trump's approach to Beijing, and it's likely they'll quickly want clear signals on where he intends to take U.S. foreign policy come Inauguration Day, January 20th. Roby Ruttenberg, CGTN in Washington.